We are all about toning and training for awesome legs today with this workout by using bilateral and unilateral training. We are gonna be lifting heavy, so make sure you've got your heavy dumbbells and optional if you've got it, your exercise box or a sturdy chair. If you don't have that, I'm gonna have a modification, but first things first, let's get into our warm up and let's do this. Getting this warm up started with a squat. So we'll take our hands behind our head for a prisoner squat. We're gonna take it down nice and slow and then up, squeeze. Take your time through our warm up today. Keep in mind for this workout, this is a heavy lift day. So we're gonna wanna focus on going heavy and we're also gonna be working unilaterally and bilaterally, which means we're gonna be working one side and then we're gonna be working both sides at the same time. Two more, here's two. And then we're gonna go into quad pulls, last one. So bring it up. Now just holding onto that, the top of your foot or your ankle, holding it up for just a few seconds and then back down. So feeling that stretch through the front of the leg, keeping that chest up. You'll see my box back here. We're gonna have a couple rounds with the box. If you don't have a box, don't worry. I'm gonna have you covered with modifications as well for some awesome exercises. Two more here and last one. Good, staggered stance, good, mor uh, good morning. So take one leg out, the other leg stays back, hands on your hips. Slight bend in the knees. We're gonna drive the hips back, back flat core engaged, and then up and drive it back. Whew. Good. Feeling this nice stretch all down the lower body, posterior chain. And up. We're gonna switch it up here. Let's do three more. Here's three, two, last one. Good, bring it up, switch it out. Other foot comes forward. And let's begin. So structure for today's workout, pretty simple. We've got six rounds. In each round, we are gonna superset our unilateral work, working right, left, right, left. Then we're gonna finish out with both sides. Work for unilateral work, on for 45. Because it's a superset, no rest, we move right into that other side. We'll get a rest before our bilateral work. We'll get 20 seconds, and then in between the rounds, we've got 30. Last one here. Whew, good. Now, taking it out into lateral lunges. So take those legs out wide. We're just gonna drop it down to one side and then the other. You can hold it down for a second here. Little up and down to try to take that deeper as we go. Two more, one more on each side. Then we're gonna hold it low in a sumo squat. Last one. Good, toes turned out. Let's take it down. Using those arms, press those legs open. You can rock it from side to side here a little bit. We're getting ready for our first round. First round, it's all about the squats. We're gonna do a kickstand squat. I'm gonna start on right for each exercise. That's just gonna kind of keep me, keep me honest with my side so I'm not doing two sides once or more than once. Well, we are gonna do it more than once, but so I'm not messing up with my sides. You know what I'm trying to say. So. Pick a side that you want to start with, start with that every single time, and then we'll go into both sides. So kickstand deadlift first, one dumbbell for this exercise. Again, lifting heavy. Dumbbell is gonna come up. We're gonna take one leg forward, that opposite leg, get it in line with your heel, and then take it back diagonal. We're gonna get ready to squat down and up, going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Squat it down and up. So this back leg is just there for a kickstand. Very light on that toe. All the weight is here on that right leg or whichever leg you started with. Now as you come down, you might have a slight hinge in the hips and that is totally fine. You're gonna feel that in the glutes a little bit. Working them down. Come on and press. So. We're about 10 seconds out. We just switch it to the other side. And up, breathing. Here we go. Three, two, one. Switch it up. So other leg comes forward. Toes in line with heels. Take it back at a diagonal and squat. Here we go. Down and up. Keep that focus on the left side now. Weight stays in the heel. Chest is up. Good, down and press. Exhale as you press up. Halfway, 
So we get two sets for the right and the left. So we're gonna work through this once more. Switching it up, still sticking with that super set. Here we are, three, two, and one. Switch it over. And let's go. Squat it down and up. Unilateral work is so good. It's gonna increase our core stabilization, gonna help you identify any muscular imbalances. Also training unilaterally can help prevent any injuries. So this is so good in the all around grand scheme of things. Also awesome for functional training when we're working unilaterally. Gonna switch it up here very soon, less than 10. Keep the weight in this heel here. Three, two, and one. Switch it over, other leg comes forward. And let's go. So this next set, just gonna be a squat. We're gonna need two dumbbells, one on each shoulder. Going heavy. Keep this back leg very light. Just a tap with the toe. Breathing over halfway. You've got it, stay strong here. 20 seconds to rest. Three, two, one. Awesome, 20 seconds to rest. Grab another dumbbell. Get ready for squat, only one set for both legs. Timer's gonna be on for 60 seconds. Bring the weights up, five seconds. Here's three, two, and one. Let's squat. Down, squeeze, come on. Exhale as you come up. Keep the weight in the heels here still. Down and press through those heels. Take your time, don't worry about how fast you're going, just make sure you are working through your full range of motion for this squat. And then all the way up. Well over halfway. And then we are done with round one. Almost there. Almost there, come on. Three, two, one. Oh, all right. Back to just one dumbbell. Grab a drink, dry off if you need it. We've got 30 seconds of rest, getting ready for that next exercise. We are getting ready to work Romanian deadlifts. We're gonna work single leg, single leg, single leg, single leg, and then both. So right, left, right, left. Now you can do this as an actual single leg or you can keep the toe down and do a kickstand Romanian deadlift. Dumbbell in opposite hand for whichever leg is forward and let's begin. Here we go. Take it down. Take your time and then squeeze up. Now as you come back to stand and as you're bringing it up to that starting position, I want you to think about those hamstrings contracting and that's what's pulling you up. So don't necessarily think about standing back up. Think about that contraction right here. Squeeze it out. Good. So really make that mind muscle connection in this one. If you showed up for 30 minutes, I want to make sure that you are getting everything out of it. Last one, three, two, one. Switch it up. So dumbbell in the left hand or however you started. Bring it forward and let's begin. So again, you can take that kickstand option, which is just that toe back, down behind you. Very light on that toe if you're using the kickstand option. Hip square to the floor. 
you'll really feel the stabilizers in your ankle and in your feet start to kick in when we do this single leg Romanian deadlift. Make sure that posture is staying good. Don't let that back round. Just gonna switch it back to the other side, the side we started on. Here it is. Three, two, one. Switch it up. And let's go right into it. And exhale as you come up. Remember what I mentioned at the beginning. Think about that muscle in the back of the leg tightening to pull you back up to that standing position. Oh, awesome. Over halfway. Almost there, we're gonna switch it back to the other side. Final step for unilateral after this. Three, two, one. Woo. Switch it up, other side. And let's go. Breathing here. Ooh, nice and slow as we go down. Pull back up. Oh. Listen, legs are gonna be saying, hey, tomorrow, and maybe the next day. <laughs> when we get that unilateral work, we can really dig deep into those muscles, really challenge them, really start to build that strength and definition. Almost there, you're gonna get 20 seconds here in three, two, one, 20 seconds to rest. Two dumbbells this time. Or one heavy dumbbell. Getting ready, both legs down. Romanian deadlift next. Shoulders roll down and back. We go in five, whew, three, two, and one. Here we go. Take it down nice and slow. Slight bend in the knees. Drive the hips back. Think about pushing that bum to the wall behind you and then squeeze up. Back stays flat, core engaged. And pull. Good, and up, halfway. Moving on to round three. Oh, come on. Exhale as you lift back up to this starting position. We got time, one more rep. Come on, make it the best one. Take your time and then really think about that. Squeeze back up. Three, two, one. Awesome. Bringing it on the mat now. We have got glute bridge, single leg to start, then both. Whew. All right, on the mat. Might have to move you over, Nacho. Wee, good boy. Okay. <laughs> this is the reason I lift weights to move my dogs around. Let's be honest. <laughs> Bringing it down. Now you can keep one leg crossed or up in the air or even with that heel down in a kickstand position. But let's begin, here we go. I'm taking mine across here. That's gonna allow me to go just a little bit heavier. And again, the focus is heavy today. Good, squeeze. Now drive those hips up, but don't arch the back to get those hips up. Keeping the back flat. We're gonna switch it to the other side next. Remember, quickly switch. Oh. Switching it up here. Three, two, one. Other side right away, take that leg across, and let's go. Or whichever foot position you're taking, either up in the air or kickstand. I think I'm gonna take quick kickstand for the next round because 
my oh my, I am perspiring quite a bit and it's a very slick move for me here with the, the ankle and knee cross. <laughs> oh, you know, when you show up to work out with me, I am working right along with you. Come on, squeeze it up. Almost there, we're gonna switch it right back to the other side. No breaks, just go right into it. In three, two, one, Woo. and let's lift. Here we go. Now, if you do have that kickstand option with just the heel on the ground, make sure it's staying light. Try not to get any leverage from that other foot. Keep all the weight in that working side. Good. Over halfway. Squeeze it up. Good, and down. You can feel this in the ham and glute. Oh, wow. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Switching it up, other side. Oh, let's go right into it and lower. Ooh. So we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest, then we're gonna go, go into just that bilateral glute bridge, meaning both legs are gonna take that weight evenly. I'm gonna add one dumbbell so I can have one dumbbell on each hip. You can always keep just one dumbbell across. You know when we're training, I wanna make sure that I give you enough information during the workouts that if you keep coming back, you are gonna be confident in whatever position, whichever, how dumbbell weight, whatever it is. So while you're here, I want you to get strong, but I also want you to gain that knowledge to have the confidence as we are lifting. Oh, last three, two, one. Oh, hey, grabbing that other dumbbell. Timer is ticking, we are getting ready. Bring it down. All right, glute bridge now. Feet are down, knees in line with toes. We go in three, two, 60 seconds on. Here we go. Lift, squeeze, and then down. Squeeze it up. Hold it for a second at the top. Get that contraction, and then lower. Now, I mentioned this in the first set, but make sure as you drive those hips up, the back is not rounding or arching. So make sure that you're staying in the nice, straight, strong line from knees down to shoulder blades where they're meeting the mat. If you start to arch around, it's gonna put a lot of pressure in your lower back, so we don't want that. Awesome, over halfway. And then we are over halfway through this workout. Thirty seconds of rest is coming. Less than ten. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Good. Bring it up. All right. I'm gonna have a modification for you for this one. If lunges bother your knees, take that modification. For that, if you're taking that modification, you're just gonna use one dumbbell and then you're gonna switch alternating between the arm and the leg for your dumbbell. You'll see it on screen. If not, we are doing a rear lunge, right side and left side. So grab your dumbbells, one dumbbell in each hand, going in three, two, and a one. Here we go. So working just one side right now. And up. Keep the weight in that heel for that working leg. Push through that heel as you come back to stand. Whew. Keep your head and chest up here. That's gonna help you keep your balance. If you pick one point and focus on that point as you're lunging, that'll help keep you solid in that, in that exercise. Here's three. Two, one, right over to the other side. Other leg back now, here we go. 45. This may be the toughest round. 
and I'm not sure if it's because it's lunges or if it's because we're four rounds in, but the shake is huh, nothing shy of serious at this point. Okay, we're doing it. Strong legs, here we come. Almost there, and then we're gonna switch it to the other side. So right back to that other side here. Three, two, one. Other side, let's go. Good, breathing. Almost halfway through this one. Now, if you are taking that modification and you're doing that rear leg lift, make sure you're keeping it low on the side for that leg that's on the ground and you are squeezing the bum as you lift. So hold it at the top for a second with that squeeze. Almost there. Three, two, switch it right over. Other side and let's go. Sumo deadlift is going to be next. So that's gonna be that bilateral move that we're gonna be doing. So if you need to adjust your weight, remember you'll have 20 seconds to do that. So grab that weight quickly, that heavy weight. I'm gonna use one heavy dumbbell in the middle. Since I'm maxing it out today, I'm gonna go with 50 pounds. That's just to give you a range. You may be going heavier than me. Almost there. Come on, a couple more reps, and then we've got it. Three, two, one. All right. So sumo, deadlift. Legs out wide, toes turned out. Start at the bottom here, so dumbbell is down. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Press through the floor, squeeze. So think about pressing that floor away. With the sumo deadlift, knees and hips are hinging. So we're bending at the knees, driving those hips back, and then squeezing up. Good. Keep those shoulders rolled down and back. This is such an awesome compound move. I have said it so many times, but it's one of my favorite for hitting so many muscle groups. And I like to make sure that I just give a little bop to my weight on the floor to keep me consistent in my lower. Because if not, I might be cheating myself out of a few inches there. And we don't want to do that. Three, two, and one. 30 seconds. We're gonna move quick because this is where we're gonna get our box. So if you have your box or your sturdy chair, we are starting with step ups. So you can do step ups with or without dumbbells. I'm gonna use two dumbbells for this one. So get your dumbbells. Make sure your space is clear. Working one side and then the other. Here we go. So step it up. And then down. Same leg goes up. So whatever leg is leading up, that opposite leg is going to lead down. And then right back into it. As you step up, push through that heel. Now the reason I love this box that I have is because it has three different heights. So, kind of depending on the exercise you're doing or depending on the level that you're working out, you can raise the box up, you can lower the box. It's super versatile. Last three, two, and one. Switch it over, other side, here we go. We're up, other side, up. Good. 
and lower. Step ups, super functional move here to strengthen that lower body. If you show up to my workouts, you know we always have a purpose behind what we are doing. So today, again, we're working on toning, building those muscles, giving you that definition, but we're also working on that functional strength. So keep that in mind as you're lifting heavy. There is a reason behind this. The burn whew, might be whew, tough right now, but it will pay off, I promise. Almost there, we're gonna switch it up. Three, two, one. Switching it right back to that other side. Here we go, two more sets like this. Also, if you are into training with a purpose, we have a new program starting very soon. You will find the link in the description. That program is called Incredible. It is intentional training for insane results. I could not be more excited about this program. Now this program is of course intentional training, which is what we do with our workouts here, but it's also gonna help you be more intentional in life, especially if you get that bundle. Now the program is free. You can add on the bundle, which is gonna bring exercises to help not physical exercises, but practices, check-ins that you can do to help you with intentionality in your everyday life. Whew. Last one, switch it over. Final set here, here we go. But the bundle also has 12 fall themed recipes, printable calendar so you know everything that's happening for the next eight weeks. We got a progress tracker in there. Ooh. So that's incredible. You can check it out in the description if you're interested. Good. Whew. Sumo squat is gonna be our bilateral move. So we're gonna get this box moved out of the way. Go right into a sumo squat. You can use one heavy dumbbell in the middle or two on each side. Here's three, two, Oh, and one, nice. All right, box is out of the way for now. Getting those dumbbells ready, 10 seconds out. Final exercise in round five, then we have one round left. Going here in three, two, and one. Here we go, down and up, squeeze. Good, push through the heels. Think about zippering your legs together right here, really activating those inner thighs. Whew. Come on, going heavy, working these inner thighs right here is gonna help you get that definition in your leg. Oh, and squeeze, good. And up. Oh my word. I feel like I have just jumped in the swimming pool. <laughs> Pouring in here. You're gonna get 30 seconds to rest. And then we're gonna finish out with some isolation work of that calf muscle. Here it is, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, this is where if you've got that box, bring it back out again, or your chair. We're gonna work single leg calf raise four sets alternating, then double. So have a seat. You'll have that modification on screen as well where you will do more of a kickstand calf raise. So actually we'll only need one dumbbell and we'll just switch it up. So for that dumbbell, whatever leg you're working, put that weight on it. We're gonna lift and lower. Here we go. So lift and lower. Up onto that toe, hold it for a second and down. Good, so pretty much everything from the knee up is just relaxing, enjoying, while wow, taking in everything we just did. Just that lower part of the leg now. Finishing strong. Breathing. We're just gonna switch it up. We've got about 10 seconds. Ooh. Good, here's three, two, 
one, switch it up, other side, dumbbell comes over, and here we go. Lift, squeeze, and lower. Keep good posture here as you're sitting. This is a reminder for me usually, because sometimes when I sit, I start to get a little crunchy. So keep it up. Instead of crunching and bunching the shoulders, keep it up. Squeeze, Woo. Really get up on that toe. When you're up there, hold it. Think about contracting that muscle and then control it down. Getting ready to switch it up. Less than 10 to go. And then right over to that other side. Here it is. Three, two, one. Other side. And let's go. Lift and down. Good. Whew. Halfway. Then one more unilateral set. Then we finish out with 60 seconds of work for both sides. Good, here's three. Two, one, dumbbell comes over. Other side, here we go. Lift it up, hold it, and down. <laughs> Stella, aw, she's waking up. The, both of the dogs have been so sleepy today. For this final set, Working both sides. You can use one or two dumbbells. I'm gonna use two, one on each leg. <sighs> We've got about 15 seconds to go. You may feel this when you're walking up and down the stairs tomorrow. Here's three, two, and by this, I mean specifically in the calves, because, all right. 20 seconds, and we go. Final 60 seconds of work. Oh my word. <sighs> Breathing. We're gonna take a victory lap after this one. I'm gonna be zooming around this. No, I'm not gonna be zooming around this room. That would be embarrassing. <laughs> Going in three, two, one. Here we go. Not that I haven't embarrassed myself here before, but <laughs> I don't want the dogs to get all wild. Maybe we could have Stella do a victory lap. I don't know if you saw my Instagram when Stella took out the couch or not, but probably my favorite video of all times. So if you do need a good laugh, it's on my Instagram. It's not too, you, you'll find it easily. You'll see the little pug in her couch. Oh no. Have to think about things that are gonna make me laugh right now. Kind of takes the burn, takes the edge off of here of the calf raises. Oh my goodness, so close. Come on, less than 15. We've got it. <sighs> you are the bomb.com, by the way, because this was such a tough workout. Here's three, two, and one. Dumbbells are down. Stay seated if you're seated. You are amazing. Do not forget, if you wanna be incredible, if you wanna be intentional, check out the link in the description below for our program that starts very soon. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your workouts. I love you so much and I will see you very soon. I'll do the kicks instead of the victory lap.